Hi everyone, this is Aaron for Zolo Tech, and we're going to go over the top 10 must-have iPad apps. These are apps based on the top downloaded apps and a few I threw in there just because I use them day to day and find them to be very good. The first app we'll go over is Flipboard. Now, if you haven't used Flipboard, I highly suggest it. It's a free app and it takes all of your feeds and puts it in a nice magazine style layout. You can see we have cover stories, Twitter, Engadget, Facebook. If I turn the page, we have 9 to 5 Mac, Joystick, Windows Mobile Power User. And when we want to read these, we can do this in a nice magazine style layout. If we want to view what, whatever we have here, this is an article from The Verge. We can read it and we can go to the next if we want. And it has this nice flipboard or flip page style layout. Really nice app, free and definitely worth checking out. The next application is Twitter. Even though Flipboard pulls in your Twitter feed, there's nothing like having just a simple feed right here in front of you. So you can see here's a feed of different things I'm following. We have our mentions and this application is also free and from Twitter themselves. Really nice, simple application and worth checking out since it's free. The next application is still in the lines of, of news or different stories you want to read and that's Pulse. The reason I use Pulse is it's a lot quicker to look over your feeds. This one actually isn't set up as, as well as the one I have on my iPhone just because I look at the iPhone one more. But here is Mac Rumors, 9 to 5 Mac, and Gadget. Again, same things that are on the Verge, but I put them in this sort of layout and it's a lot easier to read. If I just tap on this, I can read it and quickly look over everything at once. Again, this is a free application and definitely worth checking out. It's on the top of many downloads. The next application has to do with photos, and that's iPhoto. iPhoto is $4.99. It's a great application and allows you to organize your photos, edit your photos. If I go back here, we have our journals that I created, albums, photos. I have a bunch of photos I can scroll through. If I want to grab a photo, here's of my YouTube channel, an old snapshot. We have it here, and then I can edit that photo. I can open up my different palettes here. I can darken it, I can lighten it, I can darken just by going over the top of it. If I want to change it, I can soften it, I can repair it. We have a lot of different options in here and we can change color and temperature and you, or do it by itself, change it to black and white. It does a lot of really, uh, uh, really good things as far as photo editing in a very simple way. That application is made by Apple and again it's $4.99. The next app I would suggest is under books. And while there is iBooks here, Amazon's Kindle app to me is probably the better one to get just because uh, this is actually some programming, a programming book for iOS. But let's go back home here. There's a bunch of free books. This is from Amazon Kindle. It will work across an iPhone, a Windows phone, an Android phone, you name it, it works across it. Uh, there's some a bunch of free books. Uh, there's really simple syncing me mechanism that goes on behind called whisper sync and what that means is if I go to page 24 in whatever book I'm reading when I go to my iPhone or Kindle or whatever I'm reading it on it will be on page 24 of that particular book as long as I'm signed into the same account again another free app but you do need to buy the books within it or download the free ones the next application is for video watching and that's Netflix while I'm not going to go into Netflix, most people know what Netflix is. It's a free application, and as long as you have a Netflix account, the streaming is free, as long as you have the instant video. There's a few others in here I won't suggest, but you can see what I use uh, from day to day. The next application I'd recommend is Pages. Pages is a word processing application for those of you that aren't familiar. It's made by Apple, and it's kind of a competitor to Word. It's not quite as powerful as Word, but does the job for the majority of things you're looking for. When it comes to different documents and you want to update something, you can just tap here. We'll open the document. And these are all synced on iCloud. So if you have a Mac or you have an iPhone with pages on it, they'll all sync. As soon as you update one, it'll update everywhere else. All you have to do is tap here, and then you can just type. And if you want to type in landscape, you can do that. Or if you have a Bluetooth keyboard, you can do that as well, as long as it's synced. There's a lot of different options in here and things we can do with that. The application is really pretty good, as long as you don't need to do serious uh, formulas or things like that. It will do the majority of what you want. You can Im import pictures. You can paste them into place. 
Uh, you can use your location, which I don't want to do right now, but you can put charts in, all sorts of things. It's a really nice application, and for $10, you can't really beat it. The next application on the list is actually a game. Uh, I did another video similar to this, and a lot of people were a little disappointed that I left off games, but this time I thought I'd include a couple. My first and probably one of my favorite games is Ticket to Ride. Ticket to Ride is a really great game uh, that is a kind of a train type game uh, where you have to link a bunch of trains between different points on a map. I'm not going to go into all the details, but it's a great game and it's pretty inexpensive. It's around $5. You can play it online against many people. You can play it uh, by yourself, or you can play it locally as well if you have a couple iPads or between an iPad and an iPhone or iPod Touch. Really great game and not too expensive and a lot of fun. The other game I was going to recommend today is Field Runners 2. While it's technically an iPhone-only game, it works fine on an iPad. You can see, again, it's zoomed in using 2x but it works great and it looks great and it's a tower defense game i definitely recommend checking both of those out this one was about three dollars i believe so pretty inexpensive this is the game map and basically you have to defend against the guys getting from say point a here to point b here and you use different towers and every time you get rid of them you actually get money for that and then you Get that towards a tower and you can use whatever you want. The tenth and final application I wanted to go over or recommend is MoneyWiz. MoneyWiz helps you manage your finances and I'm not going to go into great detail. Uh, it requires a lot of me blurring my, my money and uh, finances out but it allows you to go over your checkbook and manage all of your money in one simple app. It's really great and I did a full video on it before of a review. I'll link it below in the description. There are a ton of applications I could recommend, and I have everything from iTunes U to the Bible to uh, the remote for Apple TV to Google Plus to Audible to eBay. Tons of things I could have included, but really there's just not enough time or space to put the, all the really good applications. The top 10 I listed are really based on how many people download them and what seems to be most people's favorites on different websites that I could find uh, as the top listed apps. So I put those together and then listed a couple of my own, such as Field Runners 2. I definitely recommend checking out the ones I've listed here. And if you have any suggestions for anyone that may not have any uh, applications or maybe getting an iPad and they're looking for something to download, please put those in the comments below. I'm sure uh, others watching this video will appreciate it. As always, thanks for watching. If you haven't subscribed already, please go ahead and do that. This is Aaron. I'll see you next time.